And now let's talk about some video features in DSLR. First, let's talk about the ability of focus continuously during recording the movie. Actually, a lot of modern DSLRs do have this feature and an icon is called continuous or AFC focus and in Canon it's called El Servo focus. Though not every camera's performance of autofocus during the video is the same and you have to look at the particular model and see how it works if this feature is important to you. Some challenges you can run into is that uh, the autofocus uh, will not be smooth and uh, sometimes the camera can search for focus a long time. Also, if you have a wrong lens, you might get too much noise from autofocusing. So if audio is important to you, you have to make sure that you have a quiet lens or use an external mic to record your audio. The other feature is the ability of the camera to shoot high definition movies. HD or high definition refers to the detail level of the screen or the number of pixels what are packed into a display. A pixel is the smallest visible element on a display. The dots what combine to make up the overall picture. Most of us these days have high definition television and we can see that HD video can show much finer details than SD. It doesn't matter if you play the video from your camera on the SD monitor, it doesn't matter if you play the video on a small screen, but if you plan to play videos on big HD monitor, you will see a significant quality difference. And this feature, I think, can be very important for some filmmakers Unfortunately, not all the cameras have external mic jack. If camera does not have external mic jack, it does limit your options with audio and usage of external microphone or lavalier, which usually gives you much better audio quality than internal mic built into the camera. Another cool feature, which unfortunately not all cameras have, is the ability to create slow motion videos. So to get slow motion, you will have to shoot your video at the frame rate of at least 60 frames per second. Actually, the higher frame rate you can get, the slower you can make your video. Unfortunately, at the present time, most DSLRs can only go up to 60 frames per second. And there are just a few which can go up to 120 frames per second. Unlike compact cameras and even phones, at the present time, for example with the iPhone, you can get frame rate of 240 frames per second. I really hope the DSLR will catch up soon. So the way you get slow motion is by converting your frame rate in post-production to 24 frames per second or 30 frames per second. And the last but not least is the price of the camera. And prices of the camera can vary from somewhere a few hundred to thousands of dollars. But if you're just starting out, photography is just your hobby and you just want to learn, don't think that you have to go out and buy the most expensive gear. The technology in the last few years went so far, it's just amazing. That the most basic entry-level DSLRs have great features and pretty good image quality. It's just, it's just amazing. Uh, also, the camera is not your only investment. Once you buy the camera, you probably will want to invest in some lenses, which are sometimes even more important than the camera if you want to achieve certain effect while you're taking the pictures. Also, you might want some accessories like external flash or you will need extra batteries. So keep in mind the camera is not your only investment. I hope this video was helpful and you learned something new today. And this video will help you to make a decision about purchasing your next or a new camera or first camera. And also I will put some useful links in description below. And I also would like you to comment what is your dream camera. And please comment, are you going to be buying your first camera or you already own some cameras and you're dreaming about some 
more professional, more advanced camera. So please comment below. I can't wait to read your comments. Please like and subscribe and I hope I will be making more useful videos for you guys and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye bye! And don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Facebook or Instagram and check out my website easy-exposure.com for more information and photo forum.